sun's very bright. Okay, I'm back. Sunglasses, I can actually see now. So today we are we're gonna go for breakfast. We're gonna Toma Cafe de Mania somewhere in this neighborhood that we're staying. Usually we would eat breakfast at home, just have something like some bread, and cheese, and a coffee. But we thought we may as well go out for breakfast on this occasion. So we're gonna find somewhere for breakfast and then the poise we will. Hopefully we're gonna go to a park. Um it's Deutsche Mons Parky. It's like a park near the Deutsche Mons and have a look around there. It's supposed to be really close to, to the actual mountains, so it should be interesting. And after that, we're gonna to go to Tammy's auntie's house. I'll also be picking up this laptop that has officially arrived in Rio. So we'll be checking that out to find out if there's really a laptop inside. <laughs> I'm sure there is, I'm confident. I'm sure there is. Um, so so yeah, that's, that's what we'll be doing today. And I don't know what we'll be doing this evening. I think we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. I'm gonna post on my Instagram for some recommendations around Rio. I want to know from the Cariocas the best places to go. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be today, and maybe maybe a couple of hours will be spent on the beach if this weather improves. I personally think it will. I think the weather's going to get better. So yeah, let's do it. Another day in Rio. So I have my apakashi called Nutella, uh, pineapple with mint in English. Very fresh. Tell me I'm going to steal yours as well, just to try it. <laughs> Mango. It is good. It's very good. It tastes fresh. Freshly picked off the tree. Hey. No. Cafe de Mania, I get this shiki omelette. Um, and Tommy's misto. It's looking very chic, this misto, no? Misto capuchapo. Misto capuchapo. Yes, and my omelette cheese is with prosciutto y queijo minas. And just your good old, what's it called again, this? What did you say the official name for this? Huh? Pauno Sharpa. Pauno Sharpa. Pauno Sharpa. So, Shagen Casa. So we're gonna go to the park, hopefully. And after that, we're gonna go to Tammy's auntie's house. Before doing that though, we're gonna take a COVID test. We brought some COVID tests with us from, from London that we brought in London. And for basically scenarios and situations like this, where we're gonna be visiting family and obviously we've been traveling quite a bit. So we wanna make sure that we're not carrying any COVID basically. So yep, we're gonna take another COVID test and make sure that we're, we're negative before we start meeting family because they're elderly people as well. So, you know, we've got to protect the elderly in these situations. So it's just up the nostril, this one. Five times? Two five times. Five seconds? Yeah. What did you think? Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, it tickles a lot. Five seconds? Five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> I think that's sufficient. Try to do the other nostrils. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that will do. Oh, it's horrible. It's not a nice feeling. Okay, here it is. Moment, moment of truth. You know. One, two, three, four. 
So you're supposed to wait exactly like 15 minutes to get the true result. So far it looks good. We did one for Tammy's grandmother a couple of weeks ago and it did test positive. And it's just been, yeah, she's had to stay in quarantine for like two weeks since. And that positive result showed like pretty quickly within like the first minute it showed that it was positive. It's the first time we've ever seen one actually be positive because every time I've, I've used these quite a lot and fortunately for myself, never tested positive. So, but now I'm like super anxious because we've actually seen one. Testivo negativo, testi negativo, vamos ole. Let's go to the park. So we just came to Parque Natural in Parque Pajuca. Um, basically it's a little park with like four viewpoints. Um, a lot of people come in here to take like obviously Instagram pictures but like they're dressed up in like dresses to take like pictures of the, the scene over uh, Le Blanc Beach. It's quite a nice, it's a nice little viewpoint you can see like over Le Blanc and Epinema Beach. It's quite chill here, nice and quiet. It's like a little, little bit of nature just outside of the sea. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like four viewpoints. I'm not quite sure exactly what those four viewpoints are. Like I think we found one, which is where we just were, where I just showed you some shots. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's, it's quiet, peaceful here and some good little views. So there's supposed to be more viewpoints, like a five, 10 minute walk up here. So we're going to venture up there and see what's going on. So we walked up a little bit, but there's not much of a viewpoint better than the one we're already at. You can see like a nicer view of Doisel Mons, but apart from that, it's just, uh, there's probably more I'd like to walk further, but uh, you know, it's time for a Molsa and we're hungry. So we're gonna head back down and 
have something to eat at Tommy's auntie's house. And also I'm gonna pick up this laptop as well. So package has arrived from one of my followers who said they're gonna send me a laptop. Let's see. Let's see. Laptop box. It's a good start. Laptop box. Complete with a laptop. Unbelievable, Jeff. There is a laptop inside. Someone sent a laptop to me. It's speechless. It's working. O Mac OS contém um leitor de tela integrado chamado VoiceOver. Se souber usar VoiceOver, pressione a tecla Comando ao pressionar o Touch de três vezes na extremidade direita da touchbar. Para aprender a usar VoiceOver para configurar o Mac, pressione a tecla Escape. Even speaks Portuguese. Even speaks Portuguese. She's sending up. That's mad.